Hi and welcome to my sewing room. I'm Pearl Pereira and these are my applique tips. Today I'd like to talk to you about the aqua wash brush and starch. For years I've been using spray starch and I like the original in the Niagara or the faultless uh, regular but recently I've been working with the Niagara non aerosol and I really like this one. Um, the reason that I like these are they're, they're soft and easy to stitch through. You can also find my recipe on my website blog for making your own cornstarch, which is even softer. But these are so easy to work with. Usually I will spray my starch directly into a bottle that has a lid and then this way it won't evaporate. Um, I usually Velcro mine to my ironing mat so that it does not spill because I occasionally spill everything. And for years I've just been using the stencil brush to apply the starch to my templates. But recently I've been exploring the aqua brush. And I have several models here and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of these. Um, the two that I don't really use are the Clover brush. It actually has a hard surface on the end, very similar to a Sharpie pen. And so it doesn't really flow when you're using it. The sew line also has that same type tip end. And I don't use this one either, but it does have a nice little plunger here and I'll show you what to do with that in a little while. The next brush is the Aqua Flow. And they have uh, multiple sizes in here. Um, the brush is nice. The plastic is a little harder to squeeze. Uh, so that's the reason why I don't actually use this brush. The other brush is the Koi, which is a nice brush. The plastic is still a little firm. It has a nice brush on the end of it. I feel like it's a little short in my hand, so I, I don't really use this one either. The brushes that I do like are the Pentel Aqua Wash brushes. You can buy them in a package like this. They come in a set of three and they have small, medium, and large tips on here. I prefer to use the medium and the large. Uh, the medium when working on smaller pieces and the large for generally just about everything else. But I am still using my stencil brush, especially working on large shapes. Uh, to fill your brush, you unscrew the tip and you can take your starch and you can just spray it from the non-aerosol. Very hard to do with the other type of spray. Now, the nice thing about the sew line is it has this plunger in here. So once I have starch in a container, excuse me, I can fill this up. Oops, I didn't get it. Fill this up <laughs> and then I can easily transfer my starch into my pen brush. You're going to secure the top on here and once you make sure it's nice and tight so that it doesn't leak and that is one of the problems with some of the other brushes. They have a tendency to leak when you put a little pressure on them. So you're going to apply the starch. Now I'm pressing it on my hand here just to make sure I've got it flowing and once I know that my starch is flowing I apply a little pressure to the plastic and this is why I like this pen so much. The plastic is easier to squeeze, it's a nice length in your hand and then you can just turn your seam allowance like you usually do and iron it until the starch is dry. Once you've done this go all the way around and shape and remove it. But this is why I really like these brushes. I hope you enjoyed this tip. You can find more applique tips on my website blog or on my YouTube channel. Thank you.